I heard that if you drink enough cocktails, the sun comes out. Hello, welcome back to Nikki in Real Life. Gnarl. I'll show you clips and pictures of my real actual life. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Are you excited? So exciting. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm a little bit sick. Probably from, I don't know, um, swimming in the ocean after a storm. But we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning. Hey, what's that? We're on a plane to Mexico right now. I know, it's super random. Life is random. Look at this. I'm having a drink. Girls trip. We went to Playa del Carmen on a girls trip. And I swear I'm not balling this hard because we booked this back in February. Before I found out I was going to Vietnam. Before I found out we were buying a house. Before I knew any of life was going to happen, I thought, Wow, the year looks pretty bland. I better book something to look forward to. So in the middle of all the crazy life events happening, here we were, on a plane. Cheers! This will be a margarita once we land. Except it wasn't a margarita because we were greeted with champagne immediately upon entry and then escorted by a private butler to our three bedroom villa suite. We're yeah. taking a private shuttle to <laughs> our room. It is a fancy luxury said vehicle. With a private butler. With a private butler. Jonathan! Hola. 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 Welcome to Mexico, Oh, gracias. What? I swear I'm not this pollen. Oh my gosh, we're too hot to handle. So we're going wine tasting now. Everything is all set for us, which is really cool because we don't have to plan. I hate planning when I'm on vacation. Look at this. Oh, dang. So then we were taken to a room with a sommelier. Som sommelier, I'm sure someone will correct the way I said that, but... Suck dicks. Professional wine drinker who taught us how to taste wine. What to look for in the different varietals and how to differentiate it with your tongue. Point is, I'm very sophisticated now and I need you to know about it. Okay, so what we're doing is they're pouring two of the same varietal. One is from Mexico, one's from the United States, and we're gonna judge which one's, which one's better. beautiful this place is. This is where we're eating dinner. Oh my gosh. That's like beautiful. I don't know what we did to deserve this, but it's amazing here. This was my first time staying in an all-inclusive, and so originally I just thought, I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be like a regular trip, but then food and alcohol was included. No. They treated us like straight up VIP presidents, queens of England, and other countries. This hotel, Azul Fives, shout out to Azul Five, but what? They really just took care of us. And you'll see it throughout this vlog, but they planned dinners, tastings, alcohol tastings, the whole nine yards. I was like, do they know that we are not queens of England? Cause I'm not gonna tell them. All right, so we just found out that there's a hot tub in our room. So that's where we're going. This is my roommate. Hey! Everyone's getting in the hot tub look, and she's unpacked, unpacking. Look, I unpacked and unrolled and everything's nicely set in its drawers. So that's... And I have bathing suits and wraps here and sleep clothes here. I'm gonna hang these up real quick and then put on my bathing suit and then I'm good to go. And then there's Nikki's pile. <laughs> All right, I'm getting in the hot tub. You have fun with that. See you there too. See you in two hours. Good morning. We're in Playa del Carmen, Mexico right now. Here for a sunny tropical vacay. So sunny, so tropical. More like rain K. This suite is amazing. Let me just show you, let me just show you around. All the girls are by the pool right now. I was like, it's raining out there. I'm not gonna go by the pool, but you guys take your time. I'm gonna go get a massage because that sounds pretty dope for when it's raining. But let me just show you the suite really quick. Look at this, check it out, check it out. So we're in the main part of the suite right now. Coming through this door, there's a kitchen, a little kitchen here. Well, it's not little, it's like bigger than my old kitchen. This was all room service from earlier. A little dining room and a little living room with a TV. And then this is the main bedroom where I've been like working on my computer. This is where Jess and I are staying. This is kind of interesting the way they have it set up because you have the bed right here and then over here is the bathroom immediately. Like there's, this is the toilet, <laughs> this is the shower. So if one person's sleeping in the bed, that person can totally hear all of the shit this person is doing in the bathroom. Then we come over here, we got a little balcony area. The roof is leaking. It's authentic. Mexican puddle. Can't get that in America. Got a little balcony here that overlooks the pool area, so that's really cool. The property is huge. It goes over to the beach, but you can't see the beach from here because it's so big. But the cool thing is, is that we have this butler that comes and takes us wherever we want to go, which is amazing. Then, it goes up there. Rooftop deck, 
which would be amazing if it wasn't raining. I used this hot tub last night, that was pretty tight. And then it curves around, curves around this way. Sorry, it's really, it's really steamy out here. And then there's all this area. What? There's a whole bar? Then there's two more rooms that the other girls are staying in. There, these rooms. And yeah, everyone's at the pool right now. I'm gonna get ready and go get a massage because this is not pool weather to me. But um, welcome to our home for the next four days. I heard that if you drink enough cocktails, the sun comes out. Wish me luck. Oh, we've been acting out for days, nothing to deny. Authentic Mexico. After losing all hope of sun and spending all day at the spa, it was time for our tequila tasting. Yep, a private tequila tasting where two tequila experts taught us not only the history of tequila, how it's made, the agave plant, but also how to smell it. Thank you. It smells like a hangover. No crying. We're being reprogrammed to not have a hangover. I actually make you forget like the bad memory you have about tequila. <laughs> oh. You know, we're, I'm okay, we know everybody have a bad memory for tequila. <laughs> it's very important. So the thing which tequila is, so this uh, tasting is for you know a little, but you have a little idea like the difference between a tequila. And how to taste it. I promise you going to be, okay, let me show you how. There's a technique. Close your mouth, breathe, swallow. Okay. Never, never breathe with your mouth. You don't breathe. Close your mouth, breathe, swallow. Mm. You don't taste the alcohol as much. You taste the flavor of the agave. See, when you guys make fun of Steve for sipping tequila instead of taking a shot, he's doing it the right way. When did you like between the two? I like the second. You like the second? I like the first one. Yeah. Roll the bottom yeah. top. We tried about, I don't know, 15 different tequilas over the course of an hour, and it was amazing. I ain't a man that you've been This is a Nyeho. And this is a Nyeho. <laughs> Swallow it, ho. The agave plant is nine years to ten years old. It's aged. Very mature agave. Do you believe? I think that was one of the best things I've ever done. And I am, I'm honestly never gonna take shots of tequila again. I'm only gonna sip it. You're supposed to sip tequila. Did you know that? You're supposed to get good tequila, good ass tequila, and then you're supposed to sip. I'm talking Añejo, I'm talking Reposado. I don't know, those are just words that I learned. Um, anyway, now we're going to dinner. We're going to Thai food tonight. Everything is all planned for us, which is so cool. Someone was eavesdropping our conversation and listened to the wrong words, I guess, and thought it was one of our girl's birthdays. So he drunkenly told the whole bar to sing to her for her birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you! Make a wish! I swear we're not those girls, except for before dinner. On the way to dinner. On the way to dinner. Okay, maybe we are those girls. Your love is the only way to dance club, play football. See the light. Do you believe? Do you After all the tequila and shots and dancing we did last night? These fucking monsters. I feel fine. These monsters want to wake up at seven and go in a cave. <laughs>
Monster. All this food, I'm still full of alcohol. I'm so tired and full of alcohol, and they want to eat French toast and go in a fucking cave. Let me show you our vacation life right now. Look at this vacation life. Oh my god. Does it look as bad as it is in real life? So we went to a cave at 8 a.m., which was 6 a.m. back home, mind you. Whatever, we were looking for something to do while it was raining. So first we got picked up by a shuttle that took us 20 minutes out to a jungle. We took another road that was a really bumpy road for, I don't know, another 20 minutes. I had to drive pretty slowly because one, it was raining, and two, there were wild ocelots and jaguars that might cross our path at any minute. And then we got paired with a guy. I don't have any accidents and I don't take any chances. So I couldn't film after this point, but they gave us pictures at the end. And by gave us, I mean we bought pictures at the end. And I could just walk you through it like a slideshow. Here we go. After putting some really sexy outfits on, we hiked down underground into a cave. It was a, an insane cave. Most of it you're not even allowed to go in because you'll freaking fall down a hole and die. And sometimes the stag delights, I don't know what they're called, stag, stag I don't know. Tell me what they're called, stactolites. The pointy things were so low, you had to like alligator yourself in the water to get by them. There were supposedly really big spiders, I didn't see any, and there were bats, but it was actually cool as fuck. Like, cool as fuck. Look at these pictures. Holy, that was real. The water looks all glowy because it was lit by a flashlight. But without flashlights, it was pitch black. Top 10 coolest things I've ever seen though. I'm so happy that the sun ruined our beach drinking time and we ended up doing this instead. We're legit cave explorers now. I feel good about it. We just got done. <laughs> exploring a cave and now we're here at lunch for some Mexican food. This was not just lunch. This was an experience. It smells so good. Like so good. And all the tequilas we tried last night are right here. We're greeted immediately with alcohol. Always a fantastic start. They teach us how to make this fancy margarita out of grapefruit soda and tequila. Before we could even finish that one, they were handing us another margarita. The guava margarita. They just keep it coming here. Cheers! Yeah, we just got back from the So, I guess we're doing a cooking class. I have no idea. So exciting. Tasty Tuesday. Drunk as always. Then we helped cook and, and eat and drink with all of the employees. They wanted to make it so it was like an authentic Mexican experience. Like as if you were going to someone's house. And if you were going to someone's house, You'd be helping cooking, you'd be drinking with everybody else that owns the house. It was really cool. Hey, it's Tuesday. You want to taste it Tuesday? Sure, it's Tuesday. Sure, it makes me tasty. Sometimes it works. <laughs> it's Tuesday? No. <laughs> Today I have decided is going to be the day. Today is the day I'll chase all my fears away. I'm gonna walk up to her and get down on one knee and say, My sweetest darling. William Moringa me Darling Moringa me You're always And uh <laughs> Everyone's trying fried grasshoppers here Fried grasshoppers Oh my god Mommy mm, That's not food Last day in Azul. We're gonna wear our hats and pretend it's sunny out. And party, drink a lot of tequila, and then we won't know the difference. Party all the time. Party all the time. Okay, <laughs> that's all we got. This is a croton plant, okay? I know everything about plants now because I'm a plant expert and I have one of those, and the poisonous to cats. I think this is a peace lily. Like the kind you have. Wait, this one? Yeah, I think so, maybe. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it alive and do that thing. Cool. I just lie when I'm a plant expert. I think this is a palm tree right here. This? No, this is a fern. I think this is a purple, an African purple violet. <laughs> I don't know shit. You're an African purple violet. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hi, beautiful. It's our last night in Mexico. Our mixology class started five minutes ago. Oh yeah, we're going to a mixology <laughs> class. Ooh. They go get this right. Literally after the Mexican lunch experience, one of the girls was like, I wish I knew how to make that guava margarita. Can we do like a mixology class or something? And our butler was like, yeah, probably. And then they put together this whole mixology experience just for us. What is this place? Our head mixologist's name was Mario. And I just have to say, as an unlicensed veteran drink connoisseur, these drinks was dank. That's the official term for them. He made some fine ass drinks and all the girls got to make them too. Nice.
Thursday. Rep in Thursday. Santa Barbara. Thursday. I'm trying to make it so much Thursday. We could get fucked up. We have a crippled. I broke my foot. Just straight up fractured her foot and is wearing a boot now. <laughs> no joke. Doing the electric slide. This one broke her foot. This one spent all of yesterday in bed nauseous throwing up. Survivor out here. And we are surviving. It's sunny today and we are leaving back to the United States in three hours. So instead of packing, we are gonna try to get a little bit of sun. Look it. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Sun's like, oh, these California bitches are leaving. All right, I'll come out. I'll come out for everyone else. So we're just gonna try to catch some sun before we go on the airplane to make it look like we actually went on vacation. I'm kind of actually really happy though because if it had been sunny out the entire time, we wouldn't have explored a cave or um, learned how to cook Mexican food or learned how to make uh, crazy mixology drinks because we would have wanted to be by the pool on the beach the whole time. So. It all works out in the end. You just gotta trust the universe that you're gonna have way cooler experiences than whatever you planned. And we have been. We've been having the best time and I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I, I, no complaints, honestly. Oh shit, you didn't think we were gonna let an entire travel vlog go by without some sick ass, cool ass drone footage, did you? Playa del Carmen, we're Playa del Carmen for you. Shit, my drone lost signal while I was on the stairs, got scared and flew back home. Let's try it again. I've ever been on in my life and I swear we're not this ballin in fact I would like to thank audible for sponsoring this video today shout out to audible whoop, whoop. Audible has an unmatched number of audiobooks that you can listen to on multiple devices It's great for summer road trips or in my case a summer plane trip to Mexico I'm currently listening to cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki So good you really should read that book if you have not already and you care about money The last time I read this book was over 10 years ago And it's really nice to be able to listen to it with a fresh set of ears much wider set of years. Anyway, there's speed control so you can make it go faster or slower and all of your books are yours to keep even if you cancel your membership. Pretty win-win. So if you want a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial, go to audible.com slash Nikki Limo or text Nikki Limo to 500-500. That's audible.com slash Nikki Limo or text Nikki Limo to 500-500. Whoa, man. That has been a long time coming. I feel like a real YouTuber now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time, hopefully with a better voice. You know what I'm saying? Pray for me.